Fly with me from Lamu to Nairobi using Fly 540. First time flying with 540, I flew from Malindi to Lamu and I love the experience. Today I'm gonna show you my experience from Lamu to Nairobi, Fly 540. They did me right from Malindi to Lamu. So I had to book with them again and because I enjoy their services and during these hard times, they really took care of the safety precaution measures. I can't comment. So let's watch this. Goodbye, Lamu. Hope to see you again. I'm seeing you soon. Lamu is my home right now. Oh, I love this old zone town. I love it so much. It's in my heart forever. Goodbye, Lamu. This town so I vlog almost everything. What? Vloggers vlog almost everything. Thank you. So this one sometimes will just uh, yeah. there's some. Uh... It's gonna take us one hour and 30 minutes to arrive in Nairobi. This is the end of the day. Goodbye now, we'll see you again. I'm flying with 540 again because it was good the first time. If you have a head pin on it, you see no luggage shall be placed at the island of the emergency exit. We thank you so much for choosing to fly with us and you do wish you safe in the place and flight. International Airport from Manda. 
from Lamu, from Madaya. And she only took one to be my supervisor. And we have this like bus taking us to the main where we take the taxis from. And I just let us subscribe here at 540 Jomo Kenyatta. Thank you again so much. Thank you for saying and taking a picture of me. What else have been? Enjoy, enjoy. Like, oh, and another thing I wanted to say, like, I booked today's Sunday. I booked the flight from Manda to Manda to Nairobi to seven thousand five hundred Kenya shillings. Yeah, that's like seventy five dollars, and then from yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this kind of videos. And if you channel link to part two is below subscribe like and let's previous clip from my lamu travel vlogs from 2018 because i went to lamu in 2018 and it was the best like i fell in love with lamu and i had to come back again karibuni lamu lamu tamu naipenda lamu pole pole hakuna haraka 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 haina baraka pole pole kisha naipenda lamu ladies asante to be the salt boys in lamu the island of peace and harmony thank you karibu romantic On the previous episode of Exploring Lamu Old Town, 18th century. Now let's go to part two of this video. <laughs> I want to try and live like a Swahili lady for a day. Let's see how this works in the streets of Lamu. East Africa, Jamal Pasha office. Oh, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania. Everything is closed today because it's Sunday. The door. It's so beautiful. I need to take a picture there. You take me. Come we are approaching Lagoon House. <laughs> We're on our way to Maulidi Mosque, the biggest mosque where people come from all over the world to see it. It's called Maulid, Maulid Mosque. Yeah. <laughs> How am I doing with the Sahili vibe? <laughs> We call him Small Maker, East Africa Maker Muslim College. Every year, mm -hmm. the old Muslim from Uganda, Tanzania, Nairobi, uh, Zaire, they come here for Maulidi, for Muhammad. Even Yemen. Huh? Yemen. Yemen here, Morocco. It's when you go to Rome, you'll be like Roman people do, or something like that. Muslim College, where people come to study for free, and... Oh my God, in Aga. In the quarter, donkey, Namchanga, eh, you're the Kali. Thank you, guys. Today, I'm going to ski. Oh, this is a top. This is a top. Queen of Oman. Oh, Kunda on the way. Kunda. Thank you. 
Oh, that little child just told me I look so cute. You know when children say things like that, they mean it. So this is Calabash Gallery, and they sell like silver, cowries, and Masai shoes, but really, and art. I keep on Kanyagari donkey feet. Okay guys, Lamu Nitamu Kweli. Like all these buildings, they make you feel like you are in the old century. It feels so good to be here. Like I feel I belong here. It's really cool. Akuna pole pole. Kila kitu pole pole. Akuna raka. Mexica old town. Ama bado. Aya, oh. Na fikiri ya tiri. The old town and the tour is almost on end. If you like this kind of video, historical video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you want to see in Namu. I'll do it for you. Lamu ni tango na Lamu ni pole pole. Hakuna raka uku. And I congratulate the Swahili ladies for always wearing the laces. I can't. Yo joto yote imenishinda. So I'm sorry not completing the challenge. But I know you understand. I told you, I can't get enough of these old dolls. They're so cute and romantic. Oh, amazing, and I can't get enough of that donkey. I rode a donkey also. Guys, we have reached the ocean, Indian Ocean and Kenyatta Avenue. We've reached here. Donkey Sanctuary. Oh, this is the Donkey Sanctuary. Donkey sanctuary. The famous Donkey Sanctuary. What, what do you mean when you say sanctuary? It's like a hospital. Hospital, yes. Yeah. For donkeys. Like Lama people don't play with their donkeys. Yeah. Chori! Can you see the donkeys? I felt bad riding a donkey today. I felt like, oh my god. <laughs> but it's so common here. It's a form of transportation. And we are finally at the Indian Ocean and the famous. Kenyatta Avenue. Yes. This is the Donkey Sanctuary. It's on Kenyatta Avenue. This is Kenyatta Avenue. It's on Kenyatta Avenue and this is the Indian Ocean. That's Jetty where people get for it from Mkoe, Mainland. That is Manda Airport. If you come by plane, yeah, we can buy plane. If you can buy a bus, let's go from there. Mainland. Oh, Take mainland. about half an hour, 20 yeah. minutes. So different, there's different transportation on how to get to Lamu Island. You can come by bus uh, from Mombasa to Lamu or from Nairobi to Lamu. There's also Nairobi? No. Yeah, from Nairobi, uh, from Mombasa to Lamu, it takes like eight hours. Yes. And you can fly direct from Nairobi Airport to Manda Airport, and it takes only one hour. Yeah, paying over there. Petlis Inn. Population for donkeys is 2,200 in Lamu, and it's the main form of transportation. Other than that, there are only seven cars that can only pass through Kenyatta Avenue. Most of it is walking by foot. Yeah. I love history so much. Like old history amazes me and I'm always reading stuff from old books and I can't believe I'm standing next to a 200 years century or something door made from African wood. Like it's amazing. <laughs> The mosque. So, as you can see, we've just passed um, Silverstone, Kaiwa Express, Lamu Office, and now we are going to another mosque. Oh, Lamu Museum. That's Lamu Museum. Yes. And almost going back to where we. Oh, and there's also a Catholic church. Huh? Yeah, yeah, Mejua. 
and this is JT, the famous JT, the main port. Is it the main port? It's the main port in Lamu. This is the progress that is right now. Lamu Museum. Yes. If hey. you come to visit here, the same ticket, you'll get you can go to the Lamu there. Fort. Oh. Maybe after lunch. After lunch. Yes. The Lamu Fort is open? Yes, okay. until 5. Until 5. Yes. Even tomorrow, we'll go Every tomorrow. Day. When are you leaving? Uh, it's for 13. No, you'll see, could use the... So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video and if you don't, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and watch my Lamu vlogs. Yeah. Bye.